What's up, my fellow Rogue Shinobi? It is me, your Rogue Kage here, back with another What If. And in today's What If, we're doing part two of What If Naruto had what release? Or what if Naruto's house show was reincarnation? Let's get to it. Wait, oh, wait, nigga. Basically, we left off with what? Naruto about to start the bell test. So he's already been introduced to his sensei and all these things. Yes. So Naruto would arrive basically at the training field and everything and would prepare. Waiting for his teammates there so he could tell him that he tell them that he knows basically what it what exactly this test is. Cause hot you know what I'm saying? that's where he wasn't got the test from. He got it from Hashirama and Toby Rama. Who passed it down to Hirzen? Well, well, who Hirzen adopted it, and then it was adopted by Jiraiya, and then by Minato, and then by Kakashi. So basically, Naruto will wait for his teammates, and you know, a couple minutes later, because Naruto got there earlier than what they expected, his teammates arrive, and Naruto will tell Sasuke that he figured out what the test is about. Is that about that they can work if they can work as a team? And Sasuke says that he would never work with the Senju, no matter what. He, was, he may hate his brother more, but he despises nothing more. He, almost, he The one thing that he despises almost as much as his brother is the Senju. The Senju. As Naruto says, wow Sasuke, you didn't have to be hurtful. You know, Maruto Chi, I worked with St. June. Look at how powerful he got. I appreciate it. According to the stories from the clan, from my clan's library, Maruto and Hashirama trained together as ch children and into their middle adults before they started fighting on either side of, on their clan side. So I was basically go on to say that he's not Maruto and he will not work with him. It's not to say it's the only way we will pass. This is a test passed down from the first Okage to the third, who passed it on to Jiraiya Dasani, who taught it to, who passed it on to the fourth. Probably, and Kakashi was the fourth student, which means this is the test that Kakashi, that Kakashi is going to do. And it's kind of a tradition to pass it down to your student, kind of. And he says, stop. This test, if we don't work as a team, we will be sent back to the academy and won't become Genins. Sasuke says, Naruto, fine, but this is, just so you know, this is only so that I can pass. It says, fine. Now, Naruto, Sasuke, um, Sakura will come up, Naruto and Sasuke will go to Sakura, explain the thing to them, and um, explain the purpose of the test and everything, and tell them they have to work together. Now, after an hour waiting on Kakashi, Naruto says, you know, this is feeling a lot like the other day when he took three hours to get here. He says, yeah, I think he's going to do the same. Let's just leave and come back. Yeah. Naruto and them would all leave and they would go their separate ways until like two hours later. And Naruto, while out, is working on some web release techniques. Basically to learn these things. And to basically learn some web release techniques or create some new ones. And which Naruto would say, well, it's, it's not just as I have an idea for a new jutsu. Naruto says, but I'm gonna need to learn some fire jutsu. Anyways, so Naruto would go on to, because, okay, why not? Naruto has not an affinity, but he can, um, what they did, I don't, I don't know what Chaka's paper shows your main affinity. But Naruto's chakra fingers split up into four pieces cut by the wind. And one piece, you know, crumpled or um, turned to dust, signifying earth. One dampened, signifying water. One, um, one basically turned to lightning, and the other, uh, what do I want to do? I mean, not lightning, fire. 
the other nah, we're just gonna do three pieces and give nod to these three uh, four affinities. Wed most the four, four affinities besides slightly. So Naruto Naruto will basically go on oh, damn this I forgot to set the clock. Anyways, Naruto will go on to basically try and you know try to do something with um try to do something with like after thirty minutes of trying and thirty minutes of leaving his um his friends or his teammates to go and try and figure create this new jutsu Naruto will decide to go to the Senju Library because um, the Senju were named the clan with a thousand skills. So Naruto would you know would go to the Senju Library where there would be some fire, <clears throat> some jutsu, a jutsu section of the library dedicated to fire fire release. Now before the war it was shunned. Any um any Senju. That is shown to have fire releases believed to have to believe to be a half breed or believed to be a half Uchiha half Senju. So they're um them and their parents are kicked out of the clan. But after the um after Kashirama and Madara, you know, made an agreement, the Senju's fire fire release uh users, you know, came out a lot more than because you know, most of them hit their fire release techniques. And went on to do perform um like other type of jutsus because you can while you may not have an affinity for jutsu, you can still learn other ch nature chakra types or chakra natures. Yeah. So they will Naruto will find this and would go practicing some jutsus and um reading up on um how exactly fire release works. And on, um, basically on a theory, which is when Naruto will come across a technique that is sealed, as Naruto knows, he recognizes this seal as the seal of Hashirama, Hashirama used to basically seal away the the river lease place. And Naruto, it's the exact same seal, so Naruto will open this seal and will find it due to that Hashirama was working on. It. And this is actually where Naruto got the idea. It was a, a jutsu that him and Maru was to use as a combination jutsu. In case it was ever needed, to basically combine their fire and wood style, and you know, though his wood dragon jutsu with a fire jutsu of Madara's. So yeah, basically Naruto would read up on his jutsu and it would see Hashirama's theory on jutsu on what exactly to do. So Naruto would have a shadow clone jutsu. Uh, would make. So shadow clones to learn uh, with at least 20 of them to go out and practice this jutsu. Naruto having a lot of trackers, so it really wouldn't take much. So, anyways, we were um not two hours later. Naruto was ba or an hour later. Naruto is back at the training field waiting for his teammates and his sensei to arrive. Uh, 30 minutes later, they would arrive. Both the sensei and his students. The students a little bit earlier, but anyways. Kakashi would tell them that he's happy they're all here, and Naruto and he would be listening for their stomachs to rumble. When Sasuke and Sakura does, he will smile, but when Naruto does it, he will say, "Naruto, did you eat after I said not to?" Naruto says, "Only a fool would not eat breakfast." This would cause Sasuke and Sakura to be, you know, a little bit irritated at Naruto for saying that, because he's basically just called them a fool. But they, you know, they'll get over it. So Kakashi would say, "Well, what you two need to do here, what you three need to do here, is to grab these two bells. You have till noon. At the moment, it's like ten o'clock. So you have till noon to grab these two bells for me." As Sakura basically pointed out the bell, um, that there's there's two and three of them. Kakashi was going to explain the bell test, and we're at the beginning of the bell test. We would say start now. Basically, there's not really much to go over. Now, Naruto can reveal his whoever these techniques. No, because he wasn't really just wanting him to keep it hidden in the academy. But he's, he, this is basically, he just wanted Naruto to not show any of his skills in the academy. Because not when he's, a, um, when he's in the academy, he was a civilian. So, and he was under the control of the civilian council. But anyways... 
As a figure is watching Naruto and um, his team basically gather information on Naruto, watching the bell test. So Naruto and his team will basically go into the um, jump jump away from Kakashi and hide. But what Naruto will do is will create a jutsu using the wood release. Um, not create a jutsu, <laughs> create a tree using the wood release, and cover himself in a tree. Basically making the tree hollow, but you can't you can't really sense chakra inside the tree, so no matter what, you're not gonna be able to find him. So when Kakashi is near, Naruto um Naruto, you know, would since his tree is connected with nature, Naruto will be able to fill Kakashi's chakra. Because Naruto has been standing still for a while, as you guys know what I'm about to pull out. That didn't sound right. Okay, they sounded a little bit right. Anyways, <laughs> Naruto basically gone, and with um after filling Kakashi's chakra, we'll open the tree a little bit, and we'll say, "What's thou? Deep forest emergence." But not really a deep forest emergence. It's, it's kind of a watered out version for Naruto because he just wants to keep it minimum. Now this this character watching Naruto would leave immediately, cause he can see the markings on Naruto's face and know exactly what these markings are. And Naruto would sense this person and look at his direction, which was actually why the person left. Now this lets the person know that Naruto has abilities that is not safe for his organization, cause he was basically sent here to gather information on the Chichurikis, everything. As you you know who this is, obviously. Obviously, it's Zetsu. Anyways, Zetsu will go on to report back to Pain and Iyakoski, which is where we're going to cut to right now. Now, Pain will basically go to, um, uh, ask Zetsu, what did he find? She says, I believe the boy has gotten too strong for any other Ikoski member. What is, what do you mean? The boy, this, the boy displayed... <clears throat> the boy displayed abilities that mo only Mara Uchiha has ever seen. The whip release. And it looked like he was on par with Hashirama Senju in it. I don't know how, but I can just feel it. He's on par with Hashirama Senju. Is there a way for us to get to him? No. At the moment now. I can continue to watch over him. And then report back to you. Good. Continuing, when, when the opportunity presents itself, we'll send out two operatives to gauge his strength. And whatever they, if they come back or not, we'll, I will decide what to do with them. So, we're going to come back to Naruto. Naruto is in this fight with Kakashi. Kakashi says, so you're going to bring that you to well, huh, Naruto? Naruto says, yeah, Kakashi said, say. As Naruto says, wood clone jutsu. As his wood clones come out. As Naruto dance, um, loses his wind release. He said, wind style. What, um, wind break, breakthrough? Great breakthrough? Great breakthrough. I was trying to decide on which, which wind style, which, great, which breakthrough to use, or how to word it. Sometimes it's called breach. Anyways, Naruto will use, um, what's the little great breakthrough? Kakashi says, that won't work on me, Naruto. Not says, but this will. It's a jutsu that I learned just recently. Okay, I learned it like 30 minutes ago. Fire style, fireball jutsu. Naruto will shoot out a fire. As Naruto say, combination style. Explosive star. As when both jutsus collide, because they're hitting Kakashi from different angles. One is behind Kakashi and one is in front of him. So the, the clone went behind Kakashi and won. Yeah, the clone shot the Great Break too. While the original Naruto shot the, you know, the Fireball Jutsu. And this is the name Naruto came up with. So Naruto, Naruto and Kakashi will basically get on to their fight and will take this out. Once Naruto say, now, Sasuke will come out and will start harassing um, Kakashi. As Naruto then jumps in, and while Kakashi is distracted, he does. He's too focused on Naruto and Sasuke, because Kakashi knows knows 
Well, he knows that Naruto is well above Jenny level. He's at least Kage level and strength, but he was in total. Um, well, he doesn't know Naruto's Kage level. He knows that he's Jonin level. While this is not true, Naruto's actually probably Kage level and strength at the moment. Well, in overall skill. Because, yes, he does have the memories of Hashirama. And his jutsus, all of his jutsus that he had and he could ever use. And all of his chakra multiplied with his, giving him it is a, around three tails worth of chakra. The three tails to trick, um, um, to beat you with the chakra. So, yeah, they would basically, so Kakashi is more worried about them. For him not to extend his sensing capabilities out, when, boom, Kakashi would hear it. As a, um, well-placed rope. And, um, explosion from a paper bomb would take place near Kakashi's side. As Kakashi would then, um, you know, be covered in black soot on his face. And his uh, hands and stuff from the explosion. Kakashi coughs up a bit of smoke. As he then looks down and sees the, um, red X. As he looks towards them. As basically what this was was Sakura throwing a kunai with the paper bomb attached to it using her book smart and, uh, or her smarts miss her smarts anyways using this to find the right trajectory to hit Kakashi's bells with the um thing with the kunai to knock it to cut it off and then using the explosion to basically knock it back far enough for her to get it but it conveniently it knocked into her right next to her so she didn't have to go far for it as Naruto was up at high five Sakura Sasuke Sasuke um, moves out the way and tells Naruto that he won't high five him. Kashi says, I can see that you have teamwork, but need to work on it. That you have some level of teamwork, you need to work on it. So for this, you all pass. And they will all smile and, you know, go out. Um, Kakashi will take them out to celebrate. And we'll go on to a point to Hokage about the passing of Team 7, which will shock everyone. Because no one has really ever passed Kakashi's test. So, during the time skip, about four months, two months, okay, a month. I, I was giving my timing off of Naruto and them doing D rank missions. As Naruto has had enough, as Naruto goes up to the Hokage and says, You know how strong I am, yet you won't give me a, a mission worth my time. Yes, Naruto, I do know how strong you are, but your teammates aren't as strong as you. And Sasuke says, yeah, not Kakashi, it's like a Senju could be stronger than me and Uchiha. As Yusin says, well, Naruto, I'll give you a chance. If your entire team wants the mission, I'll give you guys a mission. Naruto looks at his team as they both, as they all nod, including Kakashi. Kakashi, you know, is getting a little bit fed up with the D-Ring missions. While he's still a Joni and don't really have to do anything, it's kind of, he kind of views it as a waste of his time. It's a waste of his, um, how he, some, he disguises it as, he says that his training, he's really just annoyed with it. So Kakashi would, um, nod, and he would then give him an escort mission, uh, to a, a mission to escort a bridge builder off towards, um, the Land of Waves. Now, Naruto and them would eventually, you know, go on to, um, meet the bridge builder and was set off three days later. Now during this um three days in the office somebody was watching them. While no one could notice it because of where he the way he, he was um spying on them, he would go back into the ground and would reappear countries away. Why not give him, why not give him this ability? Is it to um reports pain. What is it Zetsu? I believe I believe, um, from what I can tell, the Konoha Jinin of Ginin are going on an escort mission to the Land of Ways to escort a bridge builder. Fine. I'm sending Gitachi and Kisame after them. <clears throat> when do they leave? In three days. Tell them to be there, waiting. And don't kill the bridge builder, as he has nothing to do with us. I've heard what's happened to Wave. It would be a bonus if we had Wave on the Akatsuki side. 
to tell them their main mission is to capture the Nine Tails or gain gather as much info as possible. As um Payne would be um um would send the two out to find Itachi and Kisame and send them on this mission. So um we're gonna go to three days later, Naruto and his team are basically going on I'm basically going to fight um to escort Tazuna. When Naruto and then walk past a puddle, now Naruto being connected with nature, um, Naruto will feel a little bit of life energy, a little bit of a little bit of life energy, cause he feels it from his trees, all the trees all around, which is why Hashirama doesn't really have to, you know, sit still to gather nature, um, to gather nature, nature chakra, nature natural energy, nature energy to interstage mode. So Naruto would basically, um. Naruto basically sensed the disturbance in the life force, meaning that there was some other life forces there. As Naruto will sense them in the puddle that he just passed. As Naruto will look at Kakashi. Now Naruto training with Yamato picked up on Ambu hand signs, which is something Kakashi ne will never forget was the Ambu hand signs, in case he ever joined back. Because it, it was something he actually kept up with in case this team failed, he was going to go back. So Kakashi will go on um, and see Naruto. Um, will basically kill team walk in and see Naruto's hand signs to see that he pointed out enemies in the puddle. Kakashi will um, basically in uh, in Ambu language will say that he already spotted them. What and Naruto says he got it. Naruto would then turn around as he would then clasp his hands together. As Naruto said, "Wood style, earth coffin." That's basically a thing of wood was around the puddle and would then dig underneath, under the puddle, surrounding it perfectly. This wood would surround them and then drag, drag itself deep into the earth's core. So, obviously the two brothers would die. Well, the two, the two people, whoever there was there would die because they were just dragged into the earth's core by a piece of, by some, by being trapped into wood and trees. Sakura say, Naruto, you have the. Sasuke says, you have the wood thou. It's a kick and gikai of the first Hokage, which means that you must be related to him. How? Why do you have such power and I don't? And it says, calm down, Sasuke. And yes, I have the wood release. Now, can we continue on this mission? Sasuke says, kid, you're amazing. Amazing, Shinobi. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. We thought that you were short. Naruto says what? This Tyson says nothing. As basically they continue on. Now this is when Zabuza, not Zabuza, yeah. This is basically when they will continue on to their path and, and close to the edge, or close to the place where the boat is, when a gigantic sword will come towards them. But it's about to hit Naruto when another gigantic sword appears and knocks his sword off trajectory. Traje off its trajectory to hit somewhere else. Now, a man would appear on one sword, and another man would appear next to the other. Zabuza says, I mean, damn, I keep scrolling up. And everybody knows who's going to be here. As the man says, Kisame, what are you doing here? I'm here for the boy with the yellow, uh, with um, the black haired boy. What? The one in the blue? No. The one in the green armor. Hmm. As long as you don't get in my way. <clears throat> I'll be, as long as you don't get in my way. Fine. I'll let you have him. As Kakashi's like, no. This kiss a man. Zabuza. She says, Naruto, put up a barrier around us to protect us at least for a little bit. Naruto will um, enter his hand size. She will say, what's that woodlocking wall? As basically dome wall due to. Basically, Naruto, a giant dome would appear above them. Protect, really thick wall that is going to take them at least five minutes to break through. Together at full strength. So, Yakashi would 
questioning Tanzano. Tanzano would say, he would basically tell them the truth about it. About the mission, as Kakashi would ask if his gaining wants to continue. As he says, Naruto, one of them is after you from the conversation they just had. And Naruto says, Who is that? That's Kisame Hoshigaki, the tell is tell beast. He said to have so much chocolate that it can be comparable of a tell beast. Hmm. And if he's after you, Naruto, I don't know if I can continue the mission. But I want to continue it. Sorry, Tazuka, but we're gonna have to hide you away for a little bit. Erstow. Not Erstow. Woodstow. Um, wooden burial. That's basically a coffin with a rock. Uh, um, appear behind Tazuka and open. So Naruto will push Tazuka into this coffin and would sneak and sink back down into Earth. Into the earth, but it, Naruto obviously didn't fill it with wind. Um, with using his wind element, would fill it with air so Tazuna can breathe, and would use an earth style to cover it back up to make it seem like nothing ever happened. So Naruto says, "Now he'll be out of our way. I'm going to release it now. When I immediately, as soon as you, as soon as it's gone, Sasuke and Sakura jump away." I'll take on Zabuza and then kiss on me. Naruto, if you can hold him off, do it. As Naruto released it, and they will all jump away, dodging a swipe that was going to break it. As Kisame jumped towards Naruto and says, hmm, You're the brat that I lead or sent me after. You don't seem that strong from what he's told me. Naruto says, <laughs> Doesn't think I'm strong. A kid, you dress just like um the stories I've heard of from when Hashirama was a child. Huh? So the wave knows about my grand um about Hashirama from when he was a child. Huh? Hashirama from when he was a child. Huh? Yes, wave does know. And for a child to be dressing that way, as um from when he was a child, is just disrespectful. That just says, well, I guess I'll. Sh he he's bit, basically says this in his mind. It's just well. I'll show you why they called him God of Shinobi. Naruto will clap his hands. As Naruto will say, Wood release, wood human technique. As he, as a gigantic golem would appear. Kisame says, It's true, he has the wood release. Kachi says, Naruto, I'll try and fight, kill, I'll try and get rid of Zabuza as fast as I can. It's almost a season. The, the, the kid. It doesn't matter if you guys will release anyways. Kisame will take care of him. I won't have to worry about him. So Naruto is. Um. Kadan goes on to say. What's that? Top transformed Buddha. As Naruto. As a dragon would appear. Um. But, you know. A dragon will basically come from the ground. No, no, that's not it. Okay, a dragon, that's not it. Okay, so I got taken clone. Anyways, a dragon will come from the ground and will surround it. Um, will surround it. And then Naruto will say, it's a technique I've been working on in secret for the past couple of years. I perfected it a year ago. What's thou? Sword of trees. Is it as then boom a gigantic candle will begin to come up and then the Buddha will grab this and will pull it out, revealing a gigantic wooden katana. <clears throat> I've never seen this before or heard of this. Did you create this yourself, kid? I did. So what? Impressive. But I'm still gonna kill you. As Kisame goes on to then perform his eyes. And Naruto says, it, I might not be fast enough to react to this. I might, I'm gonna have to lower the Buddha to only a top, top half. Like, like a Susano. Why am I remembering these things? 
No, no, Cho would then clasp his hands together. I'm sorry for the clap. He would clasp his hands together as the Buddha would, um, legs would begin to go into the ground and only leaving its waist up for it to move around. Breaking Naruto closer down towards Kisame. As the sharks that were about to hit Naruto when he was up above would then dive down towards Naruto. As Naruto would basically mimic the movement of his, um, this Buddha would basically mimic his movement as Naruto was mimicking holding a sword and would swipe at the um, sharks. This person again. As Naruto then goes to one hand to hand sign. As he then says, What release? What spike rings? What spikes ring? As a gigantic pillar will come out. As you see, if you've seen the um the anime, you've seen um when Yamato, I mean not Yamato, when um Kabuto appeared on the Turtle Island and tried, to, you know, to capture Yamato, and Yamato trapped him into that that jutsu with the spikes things around him. Basically, that. Yeah. As Naruto would say, wood release, wood binding technique. As wood would spring up from under the ground, binding, um, strangling around Kisame, too tight to cause him to eventually drop his sword. Now, Kisame is trying to absorb the chakra from these, uh, basically, from these trees, but uh, Samihara would, you know, it was before he dropped it, obviously. Samihara would, you know, gag because nature energy is something Samihara cannot, you know, basically absorb. And... Basically, what Hashirama's techniques come from is from his use of nature energy or natural chakra. Nature chakra. Basically, this is just something, a theory of mine actually, why he had the will release. Anyways, Naruto, um, after he drops this, Naruto would then say, Wood release, stocks, or wooden state, wood style wooden state you to. As basically, we, we've seen uh, Yamato use this against Kisame when he was on the island and you know, trying to spy on, uh, trying to get information after you know, separated from Samehara. So, um, after doing this, Kisame will say, Hmm, what are you gonna do? As Naruto then says, This is a technique that the old man gave me. What style? Guillotine drop. He says, What? Is a is a tree will form above, basically above Kisame, as then it will drop something, a check a sharp piece of wood, will then fall onto the ground, cutting, separating, Kisame from um uh, hair from his body, and with his body being too far away from Samihara, it isn't in there in time for Naruto to save it, to, uh, for Samihara to save Kisame. Tachi seeing it says no. Naruto says no, you don't. As Itachi basically then looks at Naruto, placing him under a minor genjutsu, enough for him to get far enough away. But Naruto will break out of this, you know, at least like a couple seconds later, but by this time, Itachi has dispersed into a bunch of crows. And Samihara comes crawling towards Kisame. Naruto says, uh uh. As Naruto will then use word release to wrap around Samihara. No, no. I got, I know something. It's not to say. Um, but bring out a scroll from all that's on his back. It's Mr. Small scroll, not Hashimama's original scroll. It's not to wrap it on the ground. Um, we'll spread it on the ground, and we'll then place his hand on it. As he would then say, "Wood release, wood sealing jutsu." As basically, wood pillars would come out. It would wrap around Sabahara and dragging it back into the scroll, sealing it away. Not to wrap the scroll up. And we'll place it on on the um on his back again. At this this time, um, Zabuza is being saved by his apprentice, and we all know how this went. So we're gonna t basically, you know, time skip to them about um two days after meeting with Tazuma, after going to being at Tazuma's house. Tashi will finally wake up after being exhausted and ask, "How was the fight?" I know there's a plot hole in this. Why, why don't I go and do what happened after the fight? So, as you can tell from this, Kakashi collapsed. 
Dasuke, I don't know, asked Naruto who, was, who else was there. Naruto says he doesn't know, but he put him under a Genjutsu. too. Dasuke wouldn't really connect the dots that it was Itachi. He says, but did you catch him? Yes, Naruto says no. But he, he got away with the because of the Genjutsu. <sighs> yes, he did release Tazuna from back up from the earth. So Naruto will basically go on and his team will wait um will sit there by Kakashi. As Kakashi would explain as Abuzu is a princess as Abuzu is still alive and that he will probably be back by the end of the week. Because they need to train. So Kakashi will go on to train them in a tree walking exercise, which is probably gonna time skip to the end of the week or a week later to the bridge um to the fight on the bridge. And this is where I will be ending off the what if. I know you guys are wondering why would I end it here. But you'll see why soon. I hope you guys have a good day. Your Rokage here out.